So you just heard what Jim Cramer had to say. Jim Cramer also, he threw out some shout outs in there. He also cited legendary investor Peter Lynch, adding that you had just to expect these pullbacks. Uh, again, Cramer calling it a buying opportunity. Agree or disagree? Absolutely agree. I, I think, you know, just the general thesis that I have about investing is that dollar cost averaging, holding for longer periods of time just tends to work, right? Um, so when you get these pullbacks in some of the stocks that you love, like the top growth stocks, for example, the semiconductor stocks, you know, just the S&P 500, the broad-based index, if you're not, you know, looking to cash out on your position, you have this opportunity to buy in at, at lower prices and hold for a longer time and generate, you know, additional wealth and appreciation. So absolutely agree. It's totally fine. It's part of a healthy market and it's a great buying opportunity. All right. I want to get a sense of how you see today and also the markets overall. What's your WEX word of the day? Yeah, so my WEX word of the day is actually quantum. And the way that I see markets today is that, you know, there's this absolute just fervor and, and um, interest in, in all things AI. And, and AI is, you know, the, the tide that rises all boats. And, you know, so I think quantum is the next gen innovation of AI. You need quantum computers to essentially process data, to have AI to work efficiently, to actually make changes in all of the sectors that we've been talking about that AI will impact, like, you know, drug discovery, curing diseases, military innovation, things like this. So I think that just supercomputing and quantum is what you have to keep your eye on, especially okay. if you missed out on the rally in AMD and NVIDIA. All right. So you, you actually have an ETF uh, that covers the quantum computing space. The ticker is yeah, QTUM, not two. Um, but your picks, actually, it's a, a variety of stocks that you say also touch that space. Uh, one of them is IONQ, IBM, Microsoft, and Amazon. Out of all these, um, these are obviously, uh, well, the last three are, are, you know, tech names that we all know. Which one would you say is the best yeah. way to play the, the idea of the prospect of quantum computing going forward? Yeah, so probably the, the, the purest play in quantum computing right now would be a stock like IonQ. You know, Rigetti is another one that I didn't put on my list, but just kind of like pure play quantum. So, you know, they're helping companies like Amazon and Google and, and Meta harness quantum computing and some of their innovations. And I think that they're, you know, poised to grow if this sort of takes off. But they've had awesome growth. You know, this is the first time that revenues jumped about 90 percent year over year for them. They're starting to monetize on quantum computing. And it's a field that can go from, you know, close to a billion now to 40 billion by 2030. Those are the projections. So, you know, 30 percent, 32 percent CAGR there, compound annual growth rate is a good opportunity.